In the comic book universe, Tony Stark is a billionaire, genius, playboy, philanthropist, in the, in, and the inventor and operator of the Iron Man suit pictured on the left. Tony is a hero who thwarts evil with his weaponized suit of armor, but somehow moves seamlessly with his body despite its immense weight. In the real world, numerous military and industrial outfits are attempting to recreate this suit, also known as an exoskeleton, to augment a user's natural speed, power, and endurance. However, there are other areas where this suit could be better applied. In New Zealand alone, there are 384,000 adults with a physical disability, and this number is steadily increasing. Every day, 21 New Zealanders have a stroke, 0.2% of live births are affected by cerebral palsy, and there's one new spinal cord injury every five days. A significant portion of these people require rehabilitation or an assistive device. And if they had their own kind of Iron Man suit, their lives could be much easier. <coughs> the problem is that military versions of these suits require users to exert forces and torques that are strong enough for the exoskeleton to react to. And for a user such as the man in the wheelchair, this is incredibly difficult and exhausting to do. The solution and focus of my thesis is to develop an interfacing approach that makes use of what is known as the EMG signal. This is a biosignal that comes from the electrical activity within muscle and can be detected non-invasively from the skin surface. It indicates intended muscle activation and its main advantage is that it can be detected without an actual movement. This means it could allow an exoskeleton to respond proactively to user intent. More importantly, while physically disabled users are not always able to generate measurable forces, they still have residual EMG signals that the interface can pick up. When these signals are combined with a model that mathematically represents the bone and muscle structure of a joint, the interface is able to produce an output for predicted torque and position of the joint. This approach has been validated experimentally on the elbow and forearm motions have been able to be predicted with reasonable accuracy. It is being applied further to the masticatory system, or the jaw, which is far more complex and has a much wider range of movements. If successful, this will demonstrate the depth and capability of this approach and its applicability for use with the, with the physically disabled. Once the interface is combined with further developments in actuator, sensory, hardware, and controller technology, the Iron Man suit can become a reality for those who truly need it. Thank you.